Now the church is all upset about the gay marriage. Why? It's one of those trick arguments. Everyone's, it's a big issue that doesn't really fucking matter, but at the same time, the, the, the arguments don't matter. Oh, the gays should not get married. It's going to ruin families. What is it? Well, we have every right. Marriage should not be a legal institution. That's the argument you should be having that no one will... The government should have no place in your love life. That should not... If you want to get married, it should be like joining a fraternity where you, you, know, you want to get married, you go to your church or your Chuck E. Cheese and they do a crazy rain dance around you and some incantation and puffoom if you're a married person. It doesn't mean anything. If it, well, what about tax breaks? Well, fuck, if you want tax breaks, incorporate, right? The government should only look at you as an individual no matter what. Right? What if you're a fucking idiot and you're ugly? It's like the carpool lane. You can't find someone to marry. It's discrimination. Right? It should not be a legal institution. It shouldn't exist. If marriage didn't exist, would you invent it? Would you go, baby, this shit we got together, it's so good. We gotta get the government in on this shit. We can't just share this commitment between us. We need judges and lawyers involved in this shit, baby. It's hot. <laughs> but someone invented it and now you're gonna do it or you're an asshole right it's like secretary's day every day was fine when you shuffled into the office till someone said oh it's secretary's day and you're now you're a dick if you don't bring her flowers someone invented marriage and now you're a dick if you don't marry her and i'm a dick if i don't show up and it's a boring ego maniacal ritual that no one wants to go to don't ever for a second think that someone wants to be at your wedding it's the most boring horrifying experience it's like watching someone make out on a bus for six hours you're gonna wear your nicest clothes and show up bring presents and tell witty anecdotes and I watched you, my friend up there going, you know, I'm gonna tell you what love and commitment mean to me. Because the first time I saw Laura Ann, my heart swelled up like a boy. If I'm gonna be that privy to your most intimate details, I'd rather just watch you fuck. That's a, that's a wedding. Yeah, let's just, let me watch you fuck with a miner's cap and get in there and see all the fucking boils and fucking heat bumps and yeah, that. Oh.